Hey guys, Wanklo here. I hope all of you are doing really well. As you can see, we do have a new firmware release for the ESP Miner. So let's get started and right into it. As you can see, it's three days ago that the version 2.1.4 has been released. And today I want to talk about what has changed and what you can expect from it. So let's dive into this and let's see what kind of changes we do have. Obviously the change log is here. We do have a couple of UN fixes from May. Then we do have a fix for the best difficulty that it cannot be above 4.29G, which has been luckily distributed from MLD to us as well as we do have a couple of changes for the RP. So system info change similar, duplication, JSON key, fan speed and fan speed has been changed. So previously the RP keys for the fan speed and the fan speed has been different. So now you do have a different identifier for how the fan speed currently is and how you set the fan speed. It's just a minor fix, but it is a fix. And now we do have also the self-test should only run with factory images. You can opt in by setting self-test in the config.cvs file. So what does this mean? Some of you guys do had issues while using the previously or the recent factory images where some of you ran into the issue that the display was showing you self-testing and after a couple of seconds, some people had the issue with power fail on the self-test. The self-test is an awesome new feature. It's an awesome feature in general of the ESP-Miner firmware. What it does is basically at the first time when the system firstly boots, it checks itself. It checks for all the components. It checks for the ASICs. Uh, for the ASIC device, uh, for the fan and so on. And it does a quick check. So it checks if everything is there and if everything is functional. If it passes this, then you know this device works and you don't need to actually plug it in and hash to a pool. You just need the self-test to figure out if this device is actually working or not. If it passes, everything is all right. So now let's quickly hop over to the code and let's take a look on the config.cvs file. Let's see, we do have the config.cvs example here. And uh, now we should see an opt-in for the self-test. I don't see it here. Let's hop back over config uh, dash for one CVS, probably it's in here, self-test, there we go. So there is now an opt-in feature for the super devices to actually enable or disable the self-test. So a one is enable and a zero would be a disable for this. That's lovely. And one of my f future videos about BitX 101 will I show you how you can build on your own from the source code, the firmware, so not only the esp-miner.bin, the binary files, but I will show you how you can actually create those factory files. You might know that I do have my website called uh, wait, uh, one clue.github.io slash bitxwebflasher. This one you could use to flash your device without using it, without doing anything. You just use it, uh, connect your device via USB and flash your bitx. This will flash the factory file unless you use the all bitx just update. All right, so that's good. Let's now hop over to XOS and let's take a look at it. I do have a 204 board here with me and let's quickly hop over to the logs. You do see we have the version 2.1.4. From the dashboard, nothing really has changed. So everything is still the same. It is hashing, it's working, it's running on my own node here at home. So everything is perfect. From the settings, let's take a look over here. There's also everything as usual and as normal. So from the UI standpoint, nothing has really changed. But we fixed a couple of changes or we fixed a couple of bugs in the background. So it should run more smoothly and it should run as expected. That's everything for the version 2.1.4. I thank everybody of you for joining in here today for viewing this video. If you do like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any further updates. And as you do see, we do have the version 2.1.5 also available. I will do a video about this just tomorrow. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.